My dear people of God, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I bless you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray for you, pray for your children, and I also pray for your needs. So far, God has guided us, He has led us. We are in the first week of this month, even on this third day of this month. God is going to guide you. Why are you worrying? Be bold in the Lord. His word is our food and His word is our life. His word is our future. So don't be worried. You know what is the word for this day? Let me read it for you. John chapter 3 and verses 34. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God does not give the spirit by measure. God does not give the spirit by measure. Our Lord Jesus Christ is mentioned here. It says that given the spirit by measure. So there's a measure of the anointing that has been given to us. There is a measure of the anointing. Children of God, we are all filled with the Holy Spirit. But only few are shining. You know why? The anointing that you have should be kindled every day. And when you fill yourself with the Holy Spirit, the measure of the anointing within you will just overflow. If you pour a water in the vessel, until it is filled, it, the water will be inside the vessel. But when you pour again and again more and more, it will start overflowing. It will flow outside. In the same way, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is filled in your heart and mind. He will take you into His hand. God gave His Spirit in unlimited measure. You and me are His children. If the Father has the blessing, the children also has the same blessings. Why should we not ask for the anointing? Let's ask God for the unlimited measure of anointing. Give me the unlimited measure of the blessings. Give me the desire to pray in an unlimited way. You know what is the secret behind this? Let me read a verse for you. Mark 6 verses 46. It says, when he had sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. This is the secret of the unlimited anointing. He goes to a lonely place. He departs to a mountain and pray. In the midst of all the needs, in the midst of all the shortcomings, we should not leave the prayer. That prayer will bring forth the grace, a power and all the answers of your prayer. Today, what is the word that God is giving you? You must have the unlimited measure of the anointing. Shall we pray? Our loving Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We come in one accord and pray. We come in one accord and pray. In the name of Jesus, whoever is praying along with me, Lord, this anointing is not enough. This power is not enough. This grace is not enough. Yes, Lord, this wisdom is not enough. This potential and gifts are not enough. There is a secret behind this, which is the anointing. Let them be filled with the power of anointing. Fill them and let them become a channel of blessing to many people. Let them be a useful vessel to their churches. Fulfill all the desires of their heart. Strengthen them. Increase them. Whoever is in a bad situation, let them be strengthened. I pray for everyone who have heard the word today. Let the presence of God be filled in their houses. From today, let them have a peace of God in their hearts and minds. Thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. My beloved people, don't forget. The anointing in you will increase. Hold on to that word and God will surely bless you. At 5.30 today, we have prayer. Do you remember it? Let's all work together and God has a plan to bless you this evening. 
I just greet you with great love. God bless you. See you again. Our address: Jesus Meets Ministries, Number Four, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai, Fifty Four, India. Telephone number: nine eight four one two five two eight three six seven two double nine five four six three six three. Email ID: gpsrobinson at hotmail dot com. gps dot office at jesus meets dot org. Website address: www dot gpsrobinson dot org.